Anniversaries are important moments for us to celebrate, to acknowledge and remember. There are so many different types of anniversaries that come and go throughout our lives. Some stay with us and some fade away in the natural progression of our lives. So why should we celebrate anniversaries and why are they so very important? An anniversary is more than just a date to remember each year. It is a time to celebrate, a time to acknowledge the important moments in our lives and the important people in our lives. Celebrating anniversaries of all kinds helps us to remember, to show gratitude, to see how far we have come and to see how much our lives have changed throughout the year and paradoxically how some things stay the same. Anniversaries matter on a personal, cultural and societal level. They remind us of what is important to us and solidifies certain moments in our lives and our history. A wedding is usually the first type of anniversary most people think of when asked about celebrating anniversaries. A wedding anniversary is the perfect time in reminisce about the day of your wedding of two loved ones coming together in front of family and friends. Celebrating your wedding anniversary is about acknowledging and solidifying your partnership and commitment to yourself, your partner and your marriage. It is about showing gratitude for all you and your partner have accomplished over the past year. There are many ways you can celebrate your wedding anniversary and there are some milestones that are traditionally seen as important in celebrating your anniversary such as the first year, 5, 10 and 20 and so on. And yes, these are significant moments to celebrate. And it is also a fabulous idea to celebrate each and every year, as each year will bring its own hardships, tests, joys and celebrations. And your wedding anniversary is the perfect time to reflect on them. There are also wedding anniversary gemstones attached to each year of marriage, which is a super fun and fabulous way to celebrate each year. What a beautiful way to celebrate and bring this tradition into your wedding anniversaries. Many of these are already known throughout our society, such as the silver anniversary, which is the 25th year. But did you know that the first year and the 50th year anniversaries are both gold, which I think is fabulous. For many people, celebrating your wedding anniversary is a private affair, except on the major milestones where celebrations tend to be more about gatherings and enjoying family and friends. One way to enjoy your wedding anniversary is to create traditions around the day. These can be anything from gift giving, spending a special evening together, or simply a heartfelt acknowledgement. How you celebrate your wedding anniversary is so very personal, but so very important. Many people also celebrate the anniversary of a relationship starting. This is a lovely way to incorporate celebration into your relationship and to solidify it and see it as important and special in your life. Just because you are not technically married doesn't mean that you shouldn't celebrate your anniversary of your time together. The wedding anniversary is usually the first thing most people think about, but there are so many more types of anniversaries that can and possibly should be celebrated throughout our lives. Anniversaries are moments to pinpoint throughout the year that have led to great change, celebration, joy and even sadness. One of the major ways that our lives change is with the loss of a loved one. Losing a loved one is heartbreaking, life-changing and can turn our entire world upside down. The anniversary of losing a loved one is not so much about celebration for many, but about remembrance. Coming up to the anniversary date of a loved one's passing can be very difficult and exceptionally hard for many people. This is completely normal. Please remember, if you need any help, reach out. Help is available. Be gentle with yourself on these very special anniversaries. You may wish to spend the day in solitude, reminiscing with your own thoughts. You may wish to spend it with a loved one, or you may wish to go out and socialise. There is no right or wrong way to remember your loved one on the anniversary of their passing. The day is about remembering, about honouring your loved one, yourself, and how your life has changed throughout time. As with any anniversary, there are milestones such as the first year, and these may be very difficult. Strangely, it is the second year that can be hugely difficult for many people, as they can't say things like, well, this time last year we were... Each year will hold its own different challenges, 
and the way you honour each year's anniversary may change. The pain never goes away, it just changes. One way to help is to create a tradition around this anniversary, something you can do for yourself. And these may include such things as spending the day doing something specific, journaling on the day to remember your loved one, or doing something your loved one enjoyed doing. As always, be gentle with yourself and reach out for help if you need it. There are many reasons why we would celebrate an anniversary as there are many pivotal moments in our lives, ones that need to be honoured and celebrated. One of these moments is, about, is around sobriety. Drug and alcohol issues can be prevalent in many people's lives and I can only imagine how very difficult it must be to make the decision to try and break this addiction. Sobriety from breaking away from drug and alcohol addiction is definitely something that should be celebrated as it is such a huge achievement that will change the direction of your life. The anniversary of the date you either decided to do this or the date you began the journey towards sobriety is something that should be celebrated. For many people who have had drug and alcohol addiction, part of the problem with celebration is that it used to include these very same drugs and alcohol. So how do you celebrate without them? For many people, changing the way they celebrate can be difficult and a whole new outlook is necessary. On this anniversary, many people don't want to be alone and it is important to have support. Celebrate with your loved ones and friends. Make sure you put your boundaries in place and have alternatives. If you don't want to go out and celebrate, then create new traditions and find new ways to celebrate on such fabulous occasions. Perhaps you would like to journal and write about your journey or indulge in a newfound hobby or just get out and walk, go for a walk around in nature. No matter how you decide to celebrate your sobriety anniversary, make sure you do celebrate and give yourself the acknowledgement you deserve. Another type of anniversary to be celebrated and honoured is for your working life. Work is such a large part of many people's lives and yet we hardly seem to celebrate it. However, celebrating the anniversary of your job, career or business is a fabulous way to acknowledge the part it plays in our lives. Let's face it, the thought of celebrating work seems a little agonising as work is a necessity in our lives. But work also helps to shape who we are and what we do and celebrating that is very important. If you have a job you love, do you celebrate on the date you started the job? Most people would say no. But by celebrating your work anniversary, you are acknowledging all the job has helped you create, how it has helped you grow for good or bad, and the people you have met along the way. For those who are self-employed, then the beginning date of your business startup is very important and should be celebrated. It is the date you first started such a huge journey into the unknown, into creating both a life and a business that has changed your life in many ways. Celebrating the startup of your business and every anniversary is a fabulous way to see how both you and your business has changed every year, what you have achieved, how you have grown and what you'd like to do differently. Take a moment to acknowledge all you have achieved. Take a well-earned rest and celebrate you and your business on this anniversary. While we celebrate our anniversaries, there are moments when we celebrate other people's anniversaries too. Helping a loved one to celebrate important moments in their lives brings us closer, shows us we care and brings great joy. The most usual anniversary we help others celebrate are wedding anniversaries and usually the big milestone ones. Being there as a friend for difficult anniversaries is a precious gift and one that will be remembered with great joy and relief. For those difficult anniversaries, just being there is usually enough or even checking on someone if they choose to be alone for the day. Gift giving is an important part of anniversaries as it shows we have put forethought and effort into such a special occasion. It doesn't have to be extravagant to show we care, but it does show we care. Depending on the type of anniversary, a small thoughtful gift is much appreciated. The best way to do this is with something that is personalised or is personal to the person receiving the gift. There are many ways you can do this. Memory photo books are a fabulous way to document a journey for an anniversary 
as you can personalize it, add captions and short stories to add depth. Video made up from photos and video clips is a great way to share your, the journey with large gatherings such as wedding anniversary parties as you can show the video at the party and then have the digital version available for people as a memento. Anything bespoke such as personalized artwork, personalized poems or personalized blankets add an extra layer of creativeness and can be kept for many years as a beautiful reminder of a special anniversary. If you are looking for inspirational help, visit us at Memories and Life Celebrations. We are always happy to help. Thank you for reading and joining me, and blessed be to you all.